Hello? What's up, Jason? Hey, is this Max? Yeah. Hey, Max, this is Jason Cruz from MMA Payout. I'm out here in Seattle. Oh, there it is. There you are. Uh, uh, how how are, are you doing today? We're going to be talking about Bellator 286. So the question I always ask people right off the start, how are you doing? Just fine. Okay. <laughs> excellent. Excellent. So your fight against Mike Hamill uh, next week. Uh, this is your first fight uh, this year. How are you feeling uh, as far as the training camp goes uh, getting, leading up to this fight? Uh, I feel good, but everyone says they feel good. <laughs> so, um, where did you uh, spend your uh, training camp this past uh, this past this time? Uh, at Extreme Couture in Las Vegas, where I've been living okay. the last six, five, six years. Okay, and so uh, was there anybody specific that you were were training with this time around, or were you? Uh, was it just the general? training camp like you've been doing uh, since you've been turned pro yeah same same old same old everyone extreme couture okay cool so uh you're uh looking up uh you on sure dog the, your last fight was in cage warriors in october 2021 obviously the question is what have you been up to since then uh my last fight was in the summer oh it was in the summer i'm sorry uh i don't know if it was in the summer it was this year though oh i i'm sorry i i looked i i did not i did not know that but uh uh it, was it in bellator i'm i i no, it was cage warriors cage warriors okay okay so tell me about uh how do you get signed up with bellator how how did that uh all work out um i got a so i was trying to get i was scheduled to fight uh, on cage warriors again and my fight fell through i was scheduled to fight the same person twice the first one the first time i pulled out because i got injured and then the second time he pulled out he got covid oh. and then we were trying to find like a short notice fight somewhere and my manager called me up about um bellator and i got offered the fight someone on like a week or two weeks notice or whatever and I took it, and from my understanding is that they declined it, and it was someone who I guess no one else wants to fight right now. And then so after that, after I accepted the fight, um, they just signed me to a four fight deal. After that, well, that's well, well, that's beneficial, I guess. I take it. Yeah. Now I, I we we as fans don't know understand or know or com can comprehend how the how this whole work all works out with working with your manager and about getting fights and things like that. You as a fighter, uh, when you are presented with an offer to fight somebody, do you have, do you look at, at the person's background and what they do? Do you confer with your coaches or do you just say, I, I need a fight. Let's fight. Uh, I don't, I've never once said no to a fight and I've never once really known any, unless I knew something about them prior. Um, I've never looked at, I've never looked up anything before I say yes. It's just, I'll, I'll take a fight whenever I, I'm presented a fight. So it, does, it, it just doesn't matter to you or do, do, you, do, you, do you have a coach or manager that vets the, the opponent before they present it to you or they just go ahead and present it to you? They're like, this guy wants to fight you. They, they offering you this guy. Um, early on in my career, I hope this, it changes now that I'm at a little bit of a higher level, but, uh, you know, on the regional scene, it's it's definitely been I've been turned down a lot more than than not. So I try to I've tried not to be picky. I haven't been picky at all about who I fight up to this point. OK. And so your um, your opponent this this time around is Mike Hamill, um, nine and five record, according to Sure Dog. Uh, do you know anything about uh, about Mike uh, before you getting into this, uh, take, accepting this fight? And um, as far as uh get preparing for him do you do tape do you do or do you just kind of focus on what you're going to do yeah i focus on what i'm going to do and what um my skill set is uh i don't really know much about him other than he trains in arizona um some of the guys that he trains with that um mma lab i'm 
close friends with. I haven't talked to them, but um, I know some of the guys at that gym and that he wrestled in college. That's about all I know. I got you. I got you. Um, so we're almost close to uh, fight week. Um, obviously, the most important thing about fight week is you making weight and cutting weight. But as far as you yourself, uh, what do you like to do uh, for fight week? Do you like hanging out with your coaches and, and teammates? Do you isolate yourself? Do you watch movies? What is it that you particularly do to pass the time? Yeah, I just hang out with my coaches, watch shows, work out. Nothing, um, nothing crazy. Pretty much normal. Gotcha. Gotcha. Now, obviously, um, uh, we're doing the research going into this interview. We, you know, there was the incident uh, with the fight in the UFC uh, with Austin Hubbard. Um, as far as yourself now, um, looking back at that, how, how, how are you feeling as far as um, returning back to pro fighting? I mean, I want to call it an, an incident or an accident. I lost the fight. Yeah, the same way that a lot of boxers have lost a fight. Um, to really, it's 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 I lost a fight, so it's not um nothing special. So it was it was built up a little more than you think it it should have been, basically. Oh yeah, it was yeah it was built up crazy, and I think that it was just built up because of the hype that was around me and. For whatever reason, it was it was built up. Gotcha, gotcha, cool, cool. Well, um, Max, thank you so much for your time. I, I greatly appreciate it. We wish you good good health and good luck uh, next week, October one in Long Beach. Thanks, Jason. All right, Max, have a good one. You too. Bye bye.